We are here at NAB Show New York. It's been three years since we connected with product experts, discovered alternative workflows, and were able to get our hands on recently released products. Maximizing efficiency is the end game, and there has never been a better, more intimate environment than right here in the Big Apple. Ashley with In Broadcast. Joining me is Todd of Marshall. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. So it's been a little while. You have a couple new things here at the show this year. Tell me uh, what you're highlighting currently. So we have, uh, we're showing our EPTC camera, which is a 4K60 uh, camera with IP, HDMI, and USB. So it's perfect for streaming, uh, video conference, collaboration, um, or contribution to you know, news outlets, remote. Uh, we, we just put them in a soccer league for uh, announcer cameras in, in Spain. So uh, we're also going to have an NDI version of that camera. Um, we are showing the 620 here at this show, which is our 620 TBI. It is a uh, track and follow and frame camera. So uh, as the speaker or presenter walks around the room or house of worship, uh, the camera will track, follow, and frame that person uh, and, and make sure that... Uh, and, and not need a, 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 a command center or a joystick controller. Uh, it will do it automatically with an AI chipset. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. So I would probably say that is one of the trends we are seeing right now. But what other trends as far as technology, things like that, are you seeing currently in the media and broadcasting industry? And how have you adapted with that a little bit? So, I'm so sure that's one, but... Yeah, there, one of them would be the AI. Uh, one would be remote uh, production and switching. Uh, or automatically, you know, switching iCloud, using that for for uh, for not only archiving but uh, you know soft codecs and, and switching and production is is something that uh, we see quite a bit. Uh, but we're we're making a lot of cameras to service that market. Very cool. And I think Greg's going to tell us a little bit about monitors. Um, so thank you for speaking with us, and I'm excited to hear what Greg has to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Joining me now is Greg, and you're going to tell me a little bit about the monitors, I believe. Is that right? Well, that's correct. We have a, a group of monitors over here behind me that are all small profile, and that's, that's what we're shooting for right now because so many people are doing remote production, and they need fly packs, they need to put them in trucks and pack things in. So we have uh, four uh, multi-rack, multi-monitor things, two with seven inches, one with five and one, one little one, which I love very much, with uh, very small, four small screens. And they're all very high quality, wide viewing angle. Uh, they're tilt mounted, so you can mount them anywhere and still see what's there. Some of them have waveform monitor built in. We also brought two audio monitors as well. So, and they're also small form factor. They're one rack unit but they're plenty loud, and that was the intention so they can go into server rooms and things like that and overcome the background noise that's there. So that's, that's what we brought. And we like the low profile style right now because of, well, because of what the world's doing. So I'm trying to do so much in a small space. That's kind yeah, of you have to adapt to what, the, what everybody's doing, what the trends are, right? That's exactly right. So we've got, oh, we also have a dual seven inch that will now accept 12G. And uh, a lot of people have been asking for that. They've got 4K running around the place, but they need to just monitor it, confidence monitor that thing. Well, we're going to have that within a month. So that's it. All right. So lots of fun stuff over here. Uh, thank you to Todd and thank you, Greg. Thank you.